Gatoween is the only water coaster in Denmark. Located at Jur Summerland, this is a solid attraction combining elements of both a traditional roller coaster and a log flume into one. Find out if this ride is worth experiencing in this review. Skatoween is the park's third major roller coaster, and it was added in 2011. It was placed at the back of the pirate area, and it looks fantastic. The crystal blue waters and royal blue track really pop. Then you have some nice rock work around the station and splashdown. The ride's queue line maintains this aesthetic as you wrap around the attraction, pass through some caves, and catch a glimpse of the well-themed pre-lift sequence. Then the station has a giant skull on the outside, and the inside is all sorts of pirate paraphernalia, plus some incredible staff members. They're dressed in pirate gear, and they can often be seen spraying guests with water guns. It is such a neat atmosphere. Most days you won't have to spend too long in this queue line. Each boat holds just 8 riders across 4 rows, but there are a ton on the course at once. I visited on a summer Saturday, yet the longest line I saw for this attraction was roughly 20 to 30 minutes midday. It was basically a walk on for the first and last two hours of the day. The boats are similar to those on Orlando and San Diego's journey to Atlantis. Riders are restrained by a simple U lap bar. My least favorite row is the front, because that's the seat with the highest potential of soaking your shoes. The other rows offer a refreshing splash that'll keep your feet dry. Once dispatched, you float past some really nice set pieces. You pass a giant pirate ship, head underneath a bridge with skeletons, and see this large Kraken animatronic. I was surprised a regional park invested in an animatronic this large, but I certainly was not complaining. You then ascend the 92 foot or 28 meter tall lift hill. It faces away from the park, but you can get a good view of Piratin if you look behind you. You then navigate a 180 degree turn high above the ground with a small dip in the middle. You then roll through a mid-course brake run before navigating a large twisting drop. This one has much better speed, but it is light on the forces. You then twist upwards into another mid-course, and this turn tightens towards the top, so you get a mild mix of positives and laterals. On some of the other mock water coasters, the coaster section can have a shimmy or rattle, but Skatoween is thankfully quite smooth. Next comes the best element, the 72 foot or 22 meter tall final drop. If you've ridden Poseidon at Europa Park, this drop is profiled equally as weirdly. It takes a long time to reach the max angle of descent, sort of like a Morgan hypercoaster, which causes a delayed floater pop on the second half of the drop. Along with this airtime, you also dive beneath a bridge for a nice head chopper. You then shoot over a bunny hill. You have some great speed here and you also get some weightlessness. You then hit the final splash down. It is huge in terms of size, but it's not too drenching. Just make sure to lift your feet up if you're in the front row, or else you could be sloshing around the rest of the day. The boats then slowly float back to the station, ending the 1,493 foot or 455 meter long experience. So what would I rate Skatoween? I would give this mock water coaster a 6 out of 10. This is a solid water ride. I like how the slow floating sections have good visuals as you pass the pirate theming. While the coaster section does admittedly seem more like a gimmick than a net positive, I do like the final drop sequence with the airtime in the main drop and the subsequent bunny hill. I think this is the best water ride during Summerland and do not be afraid to ride this even if it's cooler outside. So those are my thoughts on Skatoween. How do you think this water coaster compares to the others out there? Let me know down in the comments, and also let me know if I mispronounced that name. If you enjoyed this review, I'd appreciate it if you gave this video a like, and you consider subscribing, because there'll be a lot more roller coaster and amusement park videos here at Canopy Coaster. Thanks for watching.